Let's continue our journey into looking at those excellent extensions from PureNet add-ons for Elementor. Maybe it's your flavor, maybe it's not for you, but still, you know, have a look at it. And today we're looking at something that people always scream for, parallax background, but for every element. Parallax background for every element. And look at that. This is one of the things that I constantly forget about Elementor. And that is that every element actually can be a background element. And I'll show you how by using just a spacer, you can apply a picture as an element. And again, something that I don't normally do is promote a product and telling people, hey, this is a good deal. But you know, when I look at the pricing of this add-on package, I do think it's a good deal. If you look at the one site for one year support, 25 US dollars, and then lifetime updates at 50 for unlimited sites, it's a no brainer. Because if you even envision yourself using any of these extensions for two years, you're going to spend $50. So just then go for the unlimited from the beginning. Enough of the shoe shining. Let's go have a look at how does this parallax background for every element work. This is a layout that I have imported from the starter sites that comes with the Zeta theme. It's about construction. Give you just a quick look of how does it look. And I'm going to apply some parallax background elements for every element on this page. Let's say edit with Elementor. And then I'm going to scroll down, come on, load, load, scroll down here to this area. And the first one I'm going to show you is background for text. So grab any text element. This one is a heading. I'm just going to apply some padding on it. Let's give it 25 all round. And then in the advanced section, click on background. And then you do the normal thing, background type, click on that, and then select the background. I'm just going to choose one randomly, something that's interesting for a construction, construction Bob or Willy. Let's choose this one. And then I'm going to activate under it here, enable the PAFE parallax. And that's all I'm going to do. For the size, I'm just going to make sure it is on cover. It will not display on this side of the builder. You have to go look at it on the front end. I just want to change the text style to a darker color so we can see that. Let's also put that in the middle and let's even make it a little bit bigger. All right. Now update it and then go and preview it on the front end so you can see how that parallax effect is applied only for the text element or the heading element. And there you go. See, very nicely done. It's going to be gimmicky if not done correctly. This I can tell you right off the bat that be careful, don't go and do it on each and every element. It's going to be gimmicky especially for photos. I'm thinking if you're using patterns or certain, you know, styled backgrounds, it may look very interesting. Let me show you what I figured out with the spacer. And I believe among us, we're going to come up with a thousand different ways on how you can do this with the various elements within Elementor. The possibilities are truly limitless. I'm going to go back into Elementor and then here under my button, I am going to bring in a spacer. So let me grab a spacer, drag that in here under the button. And then I'm going to increase the size like this. And now I'm going to click on advanced. I'm still in my spacer and I'm going to click on background and I'm going to do the same background type and choose an image for that. Um, let's go for this one. No, this one, no, this one. Okay, this one. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to activate enable PAFE parallax. And then for the size, I'm going to say cover. And now I'm going to go back to advanced at the top and I'm going to play around with my margin. So this first unlink it and then for the bottom, give it a negative margin, bring it over the other section. And the reason it's doing that because of the Z index. So I'm just going to increase it with one. And there we go. Update it. Let's go have a look. It's not a work of art. I'm just showing you, you know, this is what you can do with this parallax background for every element. And there you go. I can see places where this can be used. This is not very high quality image for what I'm trying to do here. I can see where it can be used. And the one thing you have to take into consideration 
is that whenever you apply it, it applies as if it is a full background, not only for the section, but for uh, not only for that element, but for the entire section. So that is why it is basically stretched like this because I had put it at cover. So I'm interested if we go back, I'm just playing around now, cover, and we put it on default. Let's have a look how it will display then. Back to you, to the front end. And yes, it does the same because it's using it for the entire background. Let me just do one more contain. Let's see what it does when I say contain. And now it will keep it to the resolution of the image and not stretch it. Curious to see what it will do now. Does the same. Okay, so that is an important thing that we have discovered there. So keep and bear in mind that whichever image you are going to be using for whichever element, it needs to be similar as if you are using it for a Euro image. Make sure you have enough resolution. If you are going to be using these small images, they are going to appear like this. So you still need to use Euro resolution images. And that's it. Not a bad extension, right? Very good. So go check out PewDNet add-ons for Elementor. The link is in the description below. This is JB saying goodbye here from Websites for Beginners.